Hey my divas and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another festive or Diwali makeup tutorial for you. I have done a very glowy and a little bronzed up looking skin with purple smoky eyes and I have taken inspiration to do purple smoky eyes from an element of my outfit that I am wearing. But firstly I would like to wish you all a very happy Diwali in advance. And if you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Because we want that glowing skin on festivals, it's very important to moisturize your skin well before applying your makeup. And for that, I'm using this beautifying oil from the body shop. It moisturizes your skin really well and doesn't leave your skin feeling that oily or something. It quickly gets absorbed but give your skin a very natural glow which we need for our festive look. I left it on my skin for few minutes and then I'm moving to prime my skin and for that I'm gonna be using my body shop pore minimizer and I'm applying it all over my face and gently massaging it well. And then for my foundation I am using my Revlon Color Stay foundation. I'm gonna apply it all over my face with my fingers and then we're gonna blend it with my damp makeup perfector. I'm gonna go with another layer of foundation and this time I'm gonna use this Lo Lotus Eco Stay foundation and again I'm gonna blend everything out all over my face. After that, moving on to my eyes, I am going to take my Maybelline Eraser Concealer and I am going to lightly apply it all over my lids. And very lightly, I am going to set it with my Fit Me Compact Powder. And then moving on to my crease, I am going to be taking this orange, you know, kind of a shade and I'm going to apply it all over my, uh, not eyelids, all over my crease. And then moving towards this brown color from the palette, I'm going to apply it in the outer corner, like in the outer one third uh, corner of my eyelid and will slightly drag it into the crease line and also blending it properly after that i am gonna take this purple shade as my base for my you know dark purple color and i will apply it all over my eyelid leaving the outer one third part where i applied the brown color and then i'm gonna take this darker purple color from the palette it also has a little shimmer in it and it looks really really pretty when you uh, you're wearing it and then I am gonna apply it all over the area where I applied the lighter purple color and I am really gonna pack the this color on my lids because you know uh, for smoky eyes I wanted the intensity to be really good on my eyelids of this color I will literally gonna pack it on my eyelids until I'm happy with how it is looking and then I will go back again with my uh, blending or crease brush which I used to apply the lighter orange color in the crease and will blend out all the edges so that it looks perfectly transitioned into each other But then for a very smoky looking eyes, you really need to intensify your outer corners and I thought there was something missing from it. So I took this darkest color from the palette which was a black color and I applied it in like in the outer V of my eyelids and also blended it very slightly in half of my crease line.
and here I'm just cleaning out any fallout that happened while applying all the colors on my eyelid and then moving on to this shimmery color in the palette and I'm gonna apply it in my brow bone and we'll also gonna use the same color on my inner corners and the uh, tear duct area and I will also take this on like in the inner one third of my lower lash line and and blending it gently And then with my LA18 liquid black eyeliner, I am just gonna do my winged eyeliner. Not too thick, not too thin, but kind of dramatic uh, eyeliner I'm gonna do. After applying the eyeliner I am gonna move to my eyebrows and for that I'm gonna use my favorite favorite fashion brow from Maybelline and I'm gonna use the pencil side of it to fill the eyebrows up and then I will use an angular brush to blend out so that the pencil strokes doesn't look harsh on my eyebrows. And then moving on to my face, I'm going to use my same Maybelline eraser concealer and I'm going to apply it on all the usual areas where I like to conceal and highlight like in my under eye area in the triangular shape to also conceal and to bri brighten up that area and on the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead, on my cupid's bow and on my chin and just below where the hollows of my chin are and then I'm gonna take my makeup effector again and will blend it out properly And then I'm gonna take my Freedom Bronzer and will bronze up my face and for that I'm gonna be taking a big fluffy brush and will apply the bronzer on the hollows of my cheeks, on the temples of my forehead, like on the top of my forehead, on my jawline and I will also contour or bronze up my nose a little bit. Now taking the same uh, shimmery color or uh, eyeshadow from the eyeshadow palette, I am going to apply it on like I've, I'm going to use this as my highlighter and for that I'm going to apply it on all the areas where I would like to highlight. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and will blend out everything properly. And because I wanted this look to be overloaded with highlighting and glow so i'm applying a layer of highlighter now and then i'm gonna set my concealer and all the highlighter with a little bit of powder and then with set everything uh, with my damp makeup perfector and then i will again go ahead and do one more layer of highlighting so here to set everything i'm gonna use this loose powder from bharat and doris and will slightly set the, all the areas where I highlighted and concealed. And then I am going on all the areas with my damn makeup perfector to blend everything out. And here I am applying the same bronzer on like on the upper and the lower areas of my lips to, and also contouring or like bronzing my nose a little bit and then I am blending out everything and as I mentioned earlier here I am applying the same 
uh, highlighter or the eyeshadow on all the areas one more time and then I'm gonna you know lock it up with my damp makeup effector again. And then I'm taking the same dark brown eyeshadow which I used on my outer one third of my eyelids. I'm gonna apply it a little bit in, on my lower lash line. But then I went ahead and applied my Shembor Kajal pencil on my lower lash line. And then with the same uh, dark brown eyeshadow, I blend it or you know, I smudged out the Kajal a little bit on my lower lash line with angular brush then for lashes because I'm not going to use any false lashes for this look I am going to use a combination of two mascaras so for that I'm going to be using this one from oriflame first and I will apply it on my lower and upper lash lines both properly and then I will take my trusty l'oreal false lash mascara and will apply over the oriflame one on my lower and upper lash lines both of both of my eyes and then to finish off the look I am using this nude pink shade from MAC I'm gonna apply it all over my lips but then I somehow lost the last clip of my video where I was applying the lipstick all over my lip. Um, but yes, I applied this lipstick first and then I went ahead and applied a little bit of this purpley lip gloss from Estee Lauder to give a very glossy look to my lips as well. And after applying my lipstick and lip gloss, I did went ahead and applied these two little bindis on my forehead i was actually confused with which color i should apply so i applied both of them you can definitely uh, apply your bindi as per your outfit but yes this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and i would like to see you in my next video bye i love you all Mwah.